So what's the plan today? Don't know. You were just looking at a flight line. Yeah, we've been been stood here for 20 minutes, half hour. We've been watching it for a couple of days now. This is the wheat stubble we're shooting today. And just over the other side of this wood here, and down where Gary's going, just behind where he's going, there's two fields of uh, millet that haven't been cut. And as everyone knows, pigeons do like a bit of millet. Um, yeah, so that's not been cut. They've been hammering it. There's been a few on this stubble, not many, but the bulk of them have been on that millet. They come through their flight lines down that side through here. There's about four flight lines going to the, to the field. Gary's going to go down the bottom and try and get on a couple down there. I'm going to sit here and hopefully get under a couple of flight lines as they come from over that way, coming through, going to it. That's the plan. Been stood here this morning watching the pair of us. Um, you were late as usual, but, um, but we've been watching it and they've been... Today the wind's a bit different to when we've been watching. It's been on like a north, northwesterly. It's had northerly about it. Today it's got more of a southwesterly. They're tending to cut short of here today and cut down. So hopefully Gary get a fair bit of shooting. And uh, but then I've got a flight line that comes through here, cutting to it. So hopefully they're going to be on my right hand side. But it's just a case of putting the whirly out here and uh, trying to uh, get a bit of movement out here and try and draw them close enough to shoot them. So today we're shooting out in the middle of a field which is something um, we did a little bit last time when you were out. But then I've got, if I, if I sit on the hedge, I'll only get those ones there. I'm hoping to be in the middle of the field and try and draw a couple of flight lines into me. That's the plan. So we're going to see how it works. Um, if, it, if they don't, as they're going to be flying different today because the wind's different. Um, if the flight lines change, well, Gary will either come this way or I'll move down. But uh, looking at it, I think it, once it gets going, we're early, it's only half 10, quarter to 11. so. They, they should really start start bombing in hopefully one o'clock, one, two o'clock. So we get three hours good shooting hopefully. But but yeah, but that's the plan. So we'll go from there. Predictions. Go on then. What do you reckon you're going to shoot? I reckon I'd like to say one and one fifty. Yeah, I'd like to say if if everything goes right, the amount of pigeons that have been coming through here. Um, I know the wind's different, but everything's been coming through. I reckon one seven five for me and about one fifty, one seven five for you. Yeah. There ain't going to be a lot between it, I don't think. But we'll see. We'll end up with shooting about twenty each, and <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what normally happens. Yeah. Yeah. Should be good. Yeah, I think so. Should be good. They're strong flight lines, aren't they? I suppose you'll be using the 410 again? Yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah. God, here we yeah. go. He uses the 410, so I can't hear how many shots he's having. <laughs> yeah, if, he's, if he's having more shots than me, he knows I'll be straight down there, kick him out the eye and say, oh, it's better at the other end. Yeah. <laughs> I've only had two misses. Yeah. <laughs> I've got a few real pigeons out here. I bought three, four, five with us. I just thought I'd put a couple of silo socks out, just a bit more, a little bit of movement, a little bit of a breeze, which is quite nice. Just a bit of movement, something for them to see. And then uh, as we shoot a few more real ones, we build a pattern up with uh, more real ones. They're just starting to move now, it's 11 o'clock. Nice, nice odd ones coming through. Quite a lot going down to Gary, which is nice. And at least he'll get some shooting down there. But I think once we, we get things moving a bit, I think, uh, It'd be pretty even between the two of us, that's what I'm hoping. So, but yeah, I'm just going to stick a few more of these out, uh, get everything back in the hide, and then uh, get in and make a bit of noise, hopefully. Famous last words. <laughs> just here, look. Yep. You're going to come up and video it? Come up, come up, come up. Hi. You hear that? 
Yeah. Is it hard? Is that a crow? No, a pigeon. We should have shot five shot up here, down shot down there the more. Just having a bit of a tidy out, we had a couple of runners, um, a couple of long droppers. Probably you get long droppers, they tend to pull to them. Uh, they're veering off a bit. I'm going to move the rotary around a little bit more, put a couple more up on cradles, get a bit of a more pattern so they've got more to aim for. That's the plan. You up? Yeah. Coming in on the right. Yeah. Get up, get up, yeah. get up, get up. Oh, I'm right sorry, second one. He wants it. Two here on the right, coming. Yeah. Coming straight in. Get ready. Go for it. Get ready. Job. Two o'clock, things are still got a little way to go yet. Um, they probably found another stubble to go on. So much stubble this time of year. But we're still chipping away at them, picking a few nice ones up. Gary's popping away, he's having a good time down there. Just gonna move the whirly. They, they started to, I put the whirly behind us because they were flaring off from it. I just trying to, just need a bit of movement. So I'm just gonna move that back around the front a bit because they were tending to make for the whirly a little bit again. Um, they're turning on and off from that. One minute they like it, next minute they don't. So I'm just going to move that back into that hole there to try and draw them past the hide. What they were, tend what they were tending to do was come to it and just go away from behind. So I just thought I'd move that back in there somewhere and hopefully that'll draw them pigeons around. So we can get a shot of them, that's the plan. I only moved it a few yards, but that few yards will make it so I can get a shot at them. Hopefully. What they were doing just a minute, they were coming from behind. I put the whirly behind to attract their attention from this way because they were like veering off a bit. So I moved it back out the back. Come down? Yeah. Back out the back. Just so I see a bit of movement, and uh, um, they were coming to it out in front, but then all of a sudden they started coming from behind, making for the for the whirly. So I brought it back out on the edge of us a bit. Hopefully that'll just draw the pigeons past us. So they'll be this side of the hide, so I can get them. 
That's the plan anyway. This one. That one. You hit the ground, lad? I did. So that was out there? Yeah, I wasn't close, was it? Uh -huh. Just, we've been standing here, we had a few that were flaring off. We had a bit of a spell there, we shot 10 or a dozen a bit quick. Um, I went out there, the dog went to pick up a, a runner. She went and picked that up. And the birds tended to be flaring off a bit. And uh, there was uh, five out there on their backs. Um, but now we turn them back over, hopefully they'll switch back on again. Um, they haven't been committing as much as I thought they would today. They've done all right, but... Um, I've done some nice flighty stuff, and I'd sooner do that anyway. There comes one man back round behind us. No, it's not coming. Yeah, so that was the reason they were flaring off, because we had, had them on their backs. So, a place to keep going out and checking when you have a bit of a spell. Good girl, fish it, fish it, fish it here. Good girl, fish it, fish it, fish it, fish it. Good girl. There he's there. Look at that. <laughs> Both of them. Is that two with one shot? Yeah. Jesus. estimate was 175 for you and 150 for Gary, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. How close are you? Me? I think you're pretty close. Um, yeah, I think I'm, I'm about, I think it's 150. I've shot 150, I think, looking at these. I'll go by what car, what empties I've got. Um, going by the empties, I, I'd like to think there was 145, 150 here. Um, Gary, I was thinking he was going to get 150. He started off really, really well. He was using his 410. He loves that. He's shooting really well with that. They, they really went for him, made for him early on. They decoyed really well for him. And then towards the end of the day, they stopped decoying to Gary. Well, don't get me wrong, we had some decoy, but they, were, they weren't committing. Some committed straight in. We had some younger birds that committed. They were a bit suicidal. But most of the old birds, they didn't really want it. They, they kept wide. But... Um, but no, we shot, I shot some really nice high flighty stuff and that made my day and um, that's what it's all about, remembering the, the long stuff and I shot a few of those. Uh, as you can see, the old dog's a bit cream crackered. Uh, she had a hard day. Um, I think we shot, we shot a, couple, uh, a couple of crows and uh, three or four jackdaws, so that was quite nice. And they, they come really well. So, uh, geese. Yes. Geese. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so all in all, it's been a good day. Um, like I say, Gary struggled towards the end, uh, they didn't decoy, but that's about how we've been most of the day anyway. Um, but yeah, I look forward to getting another show out ready for next month. Um, I should, I've got my drilling to do, I've got 10 days, 2 weeks 
flat out long hours doing the sewing, weather permitting. Um, get that done and uh, then be back out flat out on these things. I've got partridge shooting, some pheasant shooting coming up, so um, maybe come out and video that, video a couple of my partridge days and my pheasant days. So go from there. Okay.